nowadays um, the the requirements on products are quite high, right? They have to be economical, ecological, and also there are a lot of functional requirements that you have. If you want to fulfill all these requirements, you have to check it, right? And by checking, I mean either you test it physically in the lab, or you do it virtually when, when using simulation tools, for example. You design a part of an excavator, and another division already did the testing on it. So they validated the part before, the sort of first revision of, of, of that part. And they say, okay, this one is good to go because maybe the thickness of the steel plates that we're using are okay um, to, to hold all the loads. But then at some point somebody says that, okay, maybe we can do the same. We can achieve the same stiffness with a reduction of, of the uh, weight of the system or at least of the material we use, right? So he changes the design. And then, of course, you have to validate it again because maybe now it is too soft and um, too stand the loads. So other divisions are directly impacted by that. So generally speaking, you don't need multidiscipline uh, simulation to, to um, just test one single part. It's more the idea about system simulation, right? So you want to model a whole system and want to do it in a really realistic way. And to do so, the, the, the separate um, simulation domains, they, they have to interact with each other. So if you change the chassis of, of a car or of an excavator, then this directly also impacts the, 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 the working of the antenna, maybe. So electromagnetic parts are directly also impacted. So if something changed, me as a simulation engineer, I need to know it. And if I work on the same databases, in a data-driven um, um, process, then I can make sure that the data I'm working on is always the uh, recent one, uh, the, the newest release, basically. And when I joined Senate, I, I, I saw Abacus and I was overwhelmed because I was so fascinated by how many features were included into the code. The Simulia and Abacus and especially is a code that is being under development all the time. The portfolio is always growing and um, yeah, you, you have to be always up to, up to date to, to use it. You can really address um, all, the, all the special needs that certain groups of people or certain industries really have. I love simulation because for me it is a virtual playground. I can address every idea that I have and just enjoy the results.